Well, this one is going to be an exciting episode. <laughs> now that we finished all the walls and we finished painting the walls white, it's about time to start building the furniture. So let's get started. I'm Duca. And I'm Roberta. And, and together, together we, we are, are building, building our, our own time shipping container, container house. house. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. So what's this plywood for? Well, we're going to start by building the furniture for the bedroom. That's going to be a few modules. We're going to build the first module because we never built any furniture before. So we want to try first on the small one and then we keep moving forward on the other modules and then we can put all of them together. You understand with time, just give us some time and you understand. It's just a little bit confusing at first, but it's going to make sense. Right now, what we're doing is just cutting the plywood in smaller pieces so we can cut to length on the circle saw but it's too big for me to use the circle saw so we're gonna just use the track saw well in two days we managed to cut all the plywood necessary for the first part of the wardrobe and we also cut glue and trimmed the laminated but then something happened today we have great and bad news at the same time yeah bad news we're not gonna finish this on time for Monday. I mean, the day you're watching that. No, definitely we're not gonna finish the furniture. I mean, the this wardrobe. But we have good news. Okay. <laughs> the idea, the idea was to have inside white laminated on the wardrobe, and on the outside, not in the whole thing, but on the one of the parts, we were gonna have a. Oops. Wooden laminated? Yeah, wooden laminated. Basically, a laminated that pretend to be wood. Yeah. We always wanted to try veneering. It just looks so cool, you know, like all this kind of natural wood. Yeah, but we never find this material here yeah. where we live. To be honest, we thought we couldn't buy here. We never found the, the supplier of plywood. They never said that they have, and we never seen the store. We had no idea about that. So today we went to the store to buy the other kind of laminated, the, you know, the, the wood. wooden laminated. And we discovered the gold, the mine, gold, no, gold mine, gold mine, yeah, gold mine. <laughs> they have a whole warehouse full of veneering, all kinds of wood, like all different colors, all different kinds. Of, it's so cool. And, and that opened up a whole new world to. You were like a kid inside the store. Them, show them. Look at that. It's that's in Buya? In Buya, yeah, that's Brazilian in Buya. I don't know. We will try to find the name in right here. But basically, this is just a sample that we got just to try to glue. But they have all different kinds of wood. Even American... American oak. Yeah. We don't have this wood in Brazil, but they have there. So basically, instead of finishing the furniture today, finishing the wardrobe, we are going to try to veneer a piece of plywood because I think it's... Can you get that second? I think that's going to be a little bit harder than laminated because you know like the shape is not perfect and like yeah. the joints are not perfect so that's going to be the challenge for this episode from now on we just change the episode yeah, yeah that's right <laughs> like always yeah at this point we had two options option one we could just keep going and we knew that we wouldn't finish assembling the furniture yeah okay. basically we were going to show you half of an episode yeah <laughs> but the, yeah, in, in order than that, we wouldn't be able to use veneering because we never done this before and it was too risky to apply straight the first time on the furniture. Yeah, we decided to run some tests before we applied yeah. on the real furniture. That's option number two. <laughs> yeah, instead of, uh, you know, show you half of something or something that looks bad, we decided to take the right path, you know, yeah. just take a step back, learn, study, run some tests and next week, we are gonna show you how we built our furniture. Our yeah. first hopefully, furniture. hopefully, if the test that you're gonna show, you're gonna see right now, goes well, it does go well. <laughs> we are gonna, yeah. If if goes well, we're gonna build the furniture for next week. Hopefully, with a lot of details, and we're gonna show you all the details we skipped about how we cut and the amount of plywood that we use in how all we that. We built the furniture. Yeah, but less talking, more episode. So let's go back to the episode. The episode now, from now on, is just a test with the veneering. Hope you like it. So what basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can manage to cut straight 
and to create a join, we're going to see if we can manage to create a join that doesn't look bad because these are not that white, they're all uh, narrow. And if we want to use this kind of material, we need to know how to do the join, otherwise we cannot use. So we're going to try to see if we can manage to do the join. Yep. Yeah, there's a good video on that. We're going to leave it on the description below. We talked about this channel before, it's called Get Hands Dirty. And she explains the whole process of veneering, like all these small tips to make sure you have the good joints. And that's where we learn from. But I got the guy on the store said there is another technique. So we're going to try two techniques. The one from Get Hands Dirty and the second technique that the guy said. And we're going to see which one works better for us and if we can manage to get right at least one of them. And then we are allowed to use this. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So that's basically what we need. We're going to start with technique number one, that's get hands dirty technique. I'm pretty sure she didn't invent that, but that's how I learned from her. So basically the most difficult thing, I guess, because we never tried yet, is when you need to cut the laminate, because if I try to cut like this... Sometimes the fiber of the wood is like yeah. this. The knife tends to follow the fiber of the wood, so you, you don't necessarily get a straight edge. In this case, it's just yeah. But just to guarantee, fine. what she said to do is to get two pieces of plywood. We put as minimum necessary uh, sticking out. See, just a, a tiny piece. And now we have a straight edge. Second step, now we have two straight edges. We need to tape this together to make sure the edges are always together. So the trick is to glue in one of the sides the tape really well. Then you position that to get tension. There is a crack here. We want to try to see if we can fix the crack and if it looks good. That's why we chose this exactly piece. This is ready for glue up. The second way that we learned on the store today, it's a lot different actually. These are the two pieces of wood. This one, the edge is straight. This one is not that straight, but I don't need to care about it because what I'm gonna do is to overlap a little bit. And then you tape. Now, when we tape, when we glue that together, the upper lap is not going to have glue. So the, after we glue, we sand the corner and it's going to break only the part that's not glued and it's going to be flush. That's what they say, mm -hmm. theory, of course. We need to try before we know that if that works or not. It's basically the same thing with laminated. It's going to be contact glue, so we need to apply on both sides. Wait for 15 minutes and then we can glue using this spatula. That's like a lot of small teeth. Weird. Fingers crossed. It's gonna it work works. out. If it does works out, that's gonna be so cool to have instead of laminated to have real wood. Very exciting. It looks like condensed milk. <laughs> Now we just need to wait for 15 minutes and we'll be back. Time for the truth. The way we do that now, 
that this is dry and this is dry we put pieces of wood like this and now we flip this around really good so this is the one that goes one on the top of the other one and now we need to sand this to make yeah. sure it's flush i don't know if it's gonna be easy to sand and i think we need to wait to, until it dries no it's dry but we can check the second one second one yeah let's do it the way is to get try to get the air to the sides just to make sure we don't have any bubble Fingers crossed, the joint is going to be perfect. That's really, really good. It's amazing. That's so cool. It's so beautiful. Right? Yeah. The cool thing is that that's 100% wood. That's not laminated, that's not plastic, that's wood. And we have many more color options to choose from. By the way, the crack that we put the tape to glue before we glue, it's but we can barely see the, the crack, right? Yeah, because this is really easy to crack sometimes. So we need to fix the cracks instead of just throwing away. So in this one, we didn't put the tape and you can see the crack. So the tip is put tape in every single crack before you go. Are you ready? Yeah. This is... I'm ready. I gotta say that this is just... So the difference between the laminated and the veneering is that in the veneering we need to, to do some finishing, we need to apply some varnish or some... Yeah, basically you need to treat just as yeah. any piece of wood, that's yeah. just wood, but it's not a thick layer of wood, it's just a thin layer of wood. Yeah. You know, let's send this one. They both look really good actually. Amazingly good. I guess you guys know what we're gonna do next week. We have a lot of veneering to do next <laughs> week. And we, we have a lot of decision making to do because we need to go to the store. There are so many different kinds of wood that we can choose from. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, not always the week goes as we plan. This one went bad but really good at the same time. And we hope you understand it and we hope you enjoy that. Because for this week that's it, right? Anything it's else? Way better than we thought. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. I really like it. And, and it's it, easier to apply than I thought. Yeah, you barely see the That's really good. I think that's week that's it for this week, right? Yeah. <laughs> see you guys next, next week, week with a lot of work. Yeah. See you guys <laughs> next week. To laminate with this beautiful verm. Yeah. Veneering. Veneering. Veneering, yeah. <laughs> so basically we're gonna try to <laughs> to break the water. I'm so excited that I'm breaking <laughs> things. I started the day today really tired and like you know like uh, it's just raining and it's not a good day outside. And once we discovered that it seems like it's sunny even though it's not sunny. <laughs> it's raining. It's a just lot. a happy day because for so long we wanted to try this. 